The crew has been buying some extra spicy collections recently, and apparently in today's video, there's gonna be like $100,000 worth of games and collections. So we're gonna have a little collection feast today, and we're gonna break it up into three parts. The appetizer, the palate cleanser, and the main course. So let's get to Sky Guy and Alpal, cause they're on the way to pick up the first collection. We're driving a few hours away from home to get this collection, and we're super excited about it. You, 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 you. So this collection came from Dustin, and he collected everything RPG, pre-ordered so many collector's editions that we didn't even know existed. Just a ton of great stuff. And the great thing about it, like 80% of it is still sealed. He was trying to complete the PS4 and PS5 sets, but it got a little difficult, so he sold to us. He's still keeping a lot of PS5 and Switch era games, but we got everything else. The collection ended up being worth about $30,000. He was super reasonable and easy to deal with, and he was happy for us to get these items into the hands of other collectors. Well, the deal is done. You, 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 you. Well, apparently this is the appetizer, which really makes me wonder what the main course is gonna be like, and I genuinely don't know, but this stuff is ridiculous. So Alpal and Skyguy, you guys picked this up, and. I mean, there's collector's editions for days across like current gen consoles. Yeah, it's like a $30,000 collection. All I the mean, stuff it, he got it, aged very well. It makes sense. Um, also, these two bins are still full. That yeah, and I've, one got, is I've all got a full games. one back there too. So, oh, I mean, yeah, all of the loose games everything. we left. And this is just like the collectors and some of the retro, like you can see the Dot Hack series, full sets in English and Japanese. <laughs> but the majority of this collection is sealed. I think 80%. Gosh, <laughs> I mean, look at that Elden Ring for PS5, the collector's edition. The Horizon, um, Horizon back there, Lords of the Fallen. And there's tons of like Switch stuff. I love the Monster Hunter Rise, Sunbreak with the Amiibo. Are you gonna keep that? I might keep that. Um, I'm living on, on space, uh, but <laughs> yeah, there's so many cool things here that I might want to keep, especially for the Switch. That's what I would refine my collecting to. Like these, Neo Geo Pocket Colors, the volume one and two sets. The Xenoblade Chronicles, I don't have that. I think that's used, but still. The Fire Emblem, I do have that, so I'll sell that, but I can't even wait to see what's next. That was the appetizer, but here is the main course. Alpel's getting to work on unboxing everything. I'm beyond excited, but before we get to these, we're gonna go over here to the palate cleanser, which I hear is uh, some right, seal oh, it's, it's right here. Oh, it's, oh, I thought it was over here, okay. Uh, this is just a little box, and I think you'll quickly recognize what it is. I have in television, season one, episode 17, my favorite episode we ever filmed. Any old video games. I have in television. In that episode, this is why I always say you gotta ask for the power of the ask at every sale. We got a garage sale with Christmas ornaments and like Halloween stuff and ask for games to a 80 year old man and his 80 year old wife smoking in the corner of the garage was like, I have in television. And she had hundreds of completed box of television games and like four systems, three of which were brand new. So unbelievable uh, purchase. Space Hawk, I think we can kind of see here. Armor Battle yeah. and Space Hawk. The rest aren't like this, so. More Space Hawk. Skiing, more skiing. It's always cool to find sealed uh, retro stuff. More moss. These are like actually really clean too. Like usually when I see these, they're terribly beat up. And these aren't too bad. Ooh, that's a good one. Mission X, a little bit more uncommon there. Same with this one, Mr. Basic meets Bits and Bytes. What a great name for a game. I mean, it doesn't yeah. get any better than that. It's oh. very, it rolls off the tongue. <laughs> it really, really does. You got Frog Bog, more Space Hawk, and more Space Hawk. Star Strike, Tron, Mazatron, another Mission X. I like seeing the, the kind of the off-colored boxes. So Mind Strike is a good one. There's another Mr. Basic. There's a lot of duplicates. Space Hawk, yeah, Night Stalker, Night Stalker. <laughs> Night nice Stalker. And I'm gonna assume more of the, is this all it's sealed in television pretty much? It's all sealed. It is all, hey, the condition is right. You can't go wrong there. Space Battle and more Night nice Stalkers. I, I think you've seen every title, so. Good, that was a nice palate cleanser. <laughs> I'm <Isn't> very, it? <laughs> it's kind of fun. Uh, but I'm, I am super excited for this. Uh, I genuinely have no idea what's here. This, this deal has been in the works. What's the name of the person we made the deal with? Drew. Drew. So Drew, shout out to you. Everything that I've heard about you is that you've been a pleasure to work with, documented everything extremely well and been very quick in communication and everything. So we appreciate that, I appreciate that. I know that the amount we're spending is multiple uh, five figures. Yep. And I know that Alpel's excited about it. It says it might be one of the most fun of an unboxing that I've had since he started, which was like two years ago. I'm, I'm, I'm guaranteeing. Actually. He's guaranteeing it. Sweet mercy. So he's taking a little bit of a sneak peek and is apparently optimistic. Um, this is empty. Oh. We only 
we we let him keep the games. We just wanted all the cases and manuals. Twenty five dollars a piece. Right? All the cases. for the cases. Yes. Twenty five dollars each. Yeah, we figured a flat but, rate would be better. But yeah. they, they're worth like seven. Buy high, sell low. It's the name of the game, baby. Woo! So there's a bunch of boxes here. We're gonna get this table kind of cleared out, move some of the boxes, and I'm in, I'm going to explain the rules. Let's get to it. So there are a lot of boxes to get to, but here's what I wanna do. I want you to pick out the most valuable game inside of each box and put okay. it on that shelf. And we'll, and we'll guess to see if you're right. Okay, so my guess of the most valuable game, 20, we have like 25 boxes here, right? Yeah, so potentially 25 games, because there's some stuff that might be consoles even. Okay, well that'll be um, easier to pick. And so if you get it correct, we'll give you a point. If you get it incorrect, it's gonna be eligible for a giveaway. Okay. And then the comments will vote at the end. For every single one you get wrong, they'll get to vote what they want to see given away. Which their stuff in this okay. collection, I'll say, is very expensive in the hundreds. So what you're saying is just pick the lowest. I'm just kidding. I'm doing the game with integrity. I imagine there's going to be a good giveaway. Okay. We started off with N64. I love this. First impression. These are in beautiful cases. That's Clean. I mean, Paper Mario, that's going to be my current front runner. Uh, this is a game I need to play. I really want to play it. Just beat Mario RPG recently. I'm currently playing Paper Mario. And by what I've heard, this is just the better version of that. Yeah. And it, maybe the GameCube version even more so. So looks like a game I need to play. Fighting Four 64, Indie Racing, Mario Party, Yoshi's Story. I'm going to say Paper Mario is still my front runner. This is fantastic. Mm hmm. Oh my gosh, Drew, my I, man, look at this stuff. I think I see one that might be better, but I don't know. I don't know. know, I don't know. Hybrid Heaven, is this what you're, this is a Blockbuster one, right? Blockbuster yes. exclusive. It's a surprisingly. Yeah, you don't, okay, I was gonna say, where's the Blockbuster signs? There you go. <laughs> uh, on the back, but the front label's pretty nice, actually. Now it is uncommon, but it might not be the most expensive, so I don't know. Well, I, I I think Paper Mario might still beat it, though. It's a good uncommon game spot out of you, Sky. Give me a high five for that. It's almost like something. we bought a complete N64 collection once. That did happen. We got another heavy coming up, though. Kirby 64 is here, Mario Party 3, but then Worms Armageddon. Oh, man. And I'm going to put that as the number one. Condition, okay, condition's a little bit lower on that one. Some label wear Ooh. and some yellowing on the back, but even still... I think that's going to be my placeholder. And while we go through these, let us know Gosh, what your is... favorite N64 game is or the favorite you're seeing. This is a, this is a good box. Uh, no mercy. You always got to look for the Dash 1 variant. I've only found it once, but this is not one of them. Um, Conquer's Bad Fur Day. All day. You know, that's an uncommon or game with value for sure. We probably get asked if we have that one the most out of any other N64 game. game. I'll tell you what. Castlevania Legacy of Darkness. I think that might be a 100 plus or um, and Conquers is always right teetering that line as well, but I think Worms Armageddon is still number one. Mario 64, one of my favorite games of all time. Top three for sure, competing with Mario Odyssey and Zelda Breath of the Wild. I, I don't, like it. I still, I get confused about the order. I, it's a tough call. Warzone, some wrestling, good old wrestling local party games on N64 is the way. Gosh, this is so many N64 games. <laughs> yeah. Sweet mercy. Like, did we get another complete set here? What is happening? There's I so honestly many. don't know. There's a lot here. We'll have to check the exact number. There's two wave races. Mario Kart. Mario Kart 64 or Diddy Kong Racing. Let me know in the comments down below. Or South Park Rally. Nope, not an option. <laughs> Mario Kart 64. I enjoy the game. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I am Team Diddy Kong Racing. Love it. Love that game. And loved it as a kid. Mario Kart 64 again. Smash Bros. Always a good time. Mario Tennis. Goldeneye 007. This is just a good. Oh boy. Oh, there's this just, in here. This just got interesting. We have three pretty big cartridges right there for the SNES. Oh my gosh. Like that is some heat. This is Castlevania Dracula X. Very, very uncommon SNES game. And this one is clean, man. That's got a really good label. Cartridge just needs a little cleaning. But is it more than Worms Armageddon? I'm actually gonna guess that it is. Man, I am right. not for sure on that though. We have Final Fight 3, which is another big one, and then Adventures of Batman and Robin, another big one. Mm -hmm. I'm, still, I'm at least gonna set them to the side as 
notable titles, but I don't think they're going to overtake Dracula X. And then guys, as we unbox all of these, we're going to put them all on a bunch of shelves so we can get one massive look of everything oh, yeah. there is at the end. So I like that idea. You got to stay for that. And I, what I think we should also do is, is get the actual top 25 at the end. Cause oh yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, we, yeah, can, yeah. we can just check those out. Another one. Two of yeah. the blockbusters. That one's Ooh. in even better shape. Look at that. That is. That's unreal. You do not see them like that. That's awesome. Uh, Turtles in Time, stinking great game. Space Megaforce, never played it, but the game has good value for sure. This, I mean, this is like, this is fantastic. This is so the far. first box. This is outrageous. This is one of Look 25 at all of boxes. This. You've got to be kidding me. Is this the third Mario 64? And then you also got Marga Man 64, Donkey Kong 64. We've got Zelda Majora's Mask, the non collector's edition version. Um, I'm pretty sure it is objectively harder to find than the collector's I've, edition. To be honest, I've never seen it without the little holographic cover. <laughs> right? I've, I've always said that, and it, it doesn't really change the value. This one is harder to find, though. The collector's edition of Ocarina of Time. That's awesome. The gold cartridge for that, normally gray. Aiden Chronicles, another uncommon game. Uh, WCW. Ooh, then we got Ninja Warriors. Taito for SNES. Look out for Taito games, I feel folks. like this price tag on it, $59.99, there's no way that happened recently. I think that is like... A lot more than that? I don't know, though. Final Fantasy III, iconic title right there. Great packing job, Drew. This is unbelievable. In cases with bubble wrap in between rows, this is top notch. I love seeing this. It warms my little reseller heart. Kirby's Dream Land 3, that's another heavy. Mega Man X, Final Fight 2, Gun Force. This could be a wild card. I cannot remember what that's worth, but you don't see it very often, so it could be a heavy. Kirby Superstar, great value in a game. Cartridge, eight games in one. Castlevania 4. <laughs> Chrono Trigger. <laughs> it just what keeps going. Happening. This is a tough box. This is outrageous. I hope I was just smirking over there. Oh, man. I will say this cartridge has a little bit of wear, and because of that wear, uh, we can, I'll can be, we factor that in? Uh, we can factor that in. I'll, I'll allow it. Okay. If so it's close enough and you're factoring in where. I'm factoring in where. I'm going to put Dracula X above it. I could be totally wrong. Chrono Trigger is one of the most iconic RPGs of all time, and it commands the value. Uh, Zelda, Link to the Past, and then, oh yes, Knights of the Round. That is very uncommon. It's very clean, too. That's something we get a lot of comments about. Sometimes the most valuable game is not the most uncommon. And Yes, you yes, there, like, a game like Little Samson for NES is fun and rare, uh, but then there's some games that are just like rare, like NCAA 2K3 for GameCube, basketball. It's worth like 300 bucks if it's complete, but it is Very not rare. necessarily a fun game. Uh, <laughs> just rare. <laughs> Zelda Link to the Past, that's the other version of it. Final Fantasy II, Mega Man X2. We've had X and X2, I think, and then Mario RPG. Uh, Sky Blazer is a good one, Super Metroid, and we have three more N64 games right there. Absolutely insane first box. If the other boxes are anything like this, we're going to be in for a treat. Yeah, there's there's definitely a lot to go through, so hunker in, folks. Get a cup of coffee, because this is going to be a fun one. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is unbelievable so far. I'm very thrilled. Uh, I got a feeling this might be one of the best boxes of the whole thing. Is that true, Alpal? I mean, I don't know how close you were paying attention, but this was beautiful. This is not. This is the warm up. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's just um, a very fun <laughs> box. So let us know what your favorite NES or SNES game was from this bunch. But Chase, yeah, you got to lock in an answer here. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna lock it in. I'm gonna go with Castlevania, Dracula X for most valuable. I think uh, you guys are going to have to confirm that. You, we're using price charting for the for the reference, and then we'll factor in condition if it makes a big difference. Um, okay. We'll put it on the shelf, and we'll do a price check. Okay. All right, Chase. Out of that box. Yep. That is the most valuable game. Let's go. Here, I want you to take this and read it for us. Oh, wow. So number 15? Yeah. Number 15 of the collection? Of the entire collection. <laughs> that is the 15th most, most valuable. 275 bucks. And I'm going to say that is a strong... 275 right there sweet well that didn't work that was that was fun <laughs> come on nailed there it we first go. try all right on to box number two okay we're gonna do this one <laughs> this is gonna be quick <laughs> uh <laughs> all right we fit plus 
and a PS4. Which is more expensive, Chase? I'm gonna go with the PS4, and I'm gonna take a risk it. I nailed that. <laughs> I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. And uh, just say that we'll count boxes with consoles. You said we would eliminate those and just do ones with games. All right. But for the purpose of this, so if I get it wrong, the uh, console might be on the line. We <laughs> put a Wii Fit for the uh, I'm gonna leave that over there. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the shelf. Um, you're you're correct. Yeah. It's not gonna be top 25, <laughs> but yeah, that's. I'll well, put it in front of the shelf. How about that? Yeah. Well done. We're gonna run out of room really quick. <laughs> yes, we uh, are. Grab grab that box. This one. Sure. Box Ooh. number three. Box number three. We have a complete in-box NES action set. Nicely bubble wrapped. What else do we have? Is this a Rob set? What is this? It is. That's a good one. Rob the Robot Deluxe set. Definitely this is more valuable. Yes, it is. <laughs> what, what are those these days? 800? I, I would guess they're 800. This is actually just the box though. Yes. Um, so it would be in the in the top spot. I, I, I would have been correct, but we're just going to call it yeah. null and void, and we shall move on. Yes, uh, but this is actually the 21st most expensive. So that makes top 25 at $250 right. complete. Okay. But obviously condition on that stuff matters greatly. Yes, indeed. We get into this one? Yeah, let's get to this one. Oh. What do we have here? It's apothecary socks. Yes. <laughs> I love these things. From our friend Seth. <laughs> No, that came from Drew. But, but the socks. Wait, Drew and Seth know each other? This is actually the sponsor of today's video, and we had Seth Fowler come out and hang with us um, a few months ago. Great guy, if you don't know YouTube. He's become a friend. He's one of the most genuine, kind people that I know. And him and a buddy of his created this incredible brand, and we, we've tried out the socks. I've actually owned a pair for probably over a year, a few pairs. You got them for us for Christmas. I literally got them for Caterpie Christmas for all of the guys, and uh, these things are absolutely fabulous. We're gonna have an affiliate link down below to order them. Chase, you're known for fabulous socks. I mean, what are I mean, <laughs> you this wear? is just what I happen to be wearing today. Sweet mercy. I mean, I'm wearing apothecary socks. Let me put my dirty boot up here. <laughs> Let's go. I've got them on. Wait, you've got them on? Alpel? Matt? I've got them on. Heck you've yeah. You've got them on? I've got them on. Oh, those are sick. <laughs> those got some, you've been wearing those too. Um, Heck yeah. Are these your favorite socks, yes or no? Yes, they are. My wife's yeah. favorite too. R really? Yes. What about you, Matt? Favorite socks, yes I or no? I actually have to fight Abby for them. <laughs> Abby is his wife and she loves them too, yes My or no? wife loves them and I've literally have not worn different socks since I got them. <laughs> And seriously, guys, these things are genuinely amazing. We've been using them before. Reached out to Seth and just asked, hey, do you guys want to sponsor a video? Because we love these things. We'd love to tell our viewers about them. Check them out. If you want some good quality socks, or if you want to gift them to your spouse, because it would work very well for all of us, we should definitely do that. Yes. <laughs> um, check out our link down below. It will support the channel, and maybe uh, will help us to get more sponsorships from them in the future. And maybe they'll make us like Hawaiian socks or something in the so future. That we can do would be awesome, like, like a Hawaiian player sweater. Yes. So, so like Something along those lines for that, socks. That'd be super cool. I would be very into that. So let's make it happen. Go order some socks. But now, let's get to what's under the socks in this box. This is this is a little bit newer than what we've seen. Yeah, so there is some modern mixed in, but I think you'll like what you see. Yeah, I mean, PS4 and everything is sealed well, so far. <laughs> uh, just, just you wait. Okay. Uh, more PS4. And more PS4. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Blood will tell, PS2 sealed. Sweet mercy. Um, we're gonna put that as a front runner. Tell, is, uh, tell me about it. I mean, it's very uncommon. It's probably uh, not exactly the kind of game that I typically play. Very expensive, and it's made by Sega, and it's called Blood Will Tell. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> Let me know if you played it. I have no idea what it's like. Is that like a top, top 10 most expensive complete PS2 game? Yeah, I mean, it's right up there with like Rule of Rose and Haunting Ground, wow. which, which are kind of the other big two. So I would be shocked if anything from this box beats it. But this game I have played, I love that. Mario Tennis, Aces, Kirby, Final Fantasy, lots of sealed, everything is sealed actually so far. Yeah, we can probably just get the rest out of this box and you think so? uh, take a quick look. Okay, let's do it. Okay, here we have it. Just about everything was indeed sealed. You got PS2 in the middle, PS4 on the outsides, a little bit of Switch, a little bit of Collector's Edition. Definitely loving the Lego Star Wars. That's cool. That's a sweet collector's edition. I believe it has minifigures. I with? sure hope so. That'd be cool if it did. Yes, and then the Ghostbusters PS5 collectors, but that, no doubt about it, is gonna be the top game of this box. Go we'll lock it in. I'm locking it in, sealed for PS2. 
So Chase, this is the fifth most expensive game of the bunch. Dang. $563 on price charting. Not too shabby. So was I correct? Yes, that was the most expensive All right. game. <laughs> I'm being told. What, what, what? <laughs> do this. There we go. I'm trying like, what's the... Okay, we're gonna do this box, this box, and this box? Yep. Sure. Okay. Uh, this is all the same thing. One of them is opened. <clears throat> so I guess you'll see. you'll never guess what uh I'm what's getting most the Switch expensive. vibe. Ah, very nice. Classic. The N64 controller and four is the proper amount. I'm gonna guess that this is the most expensive of the box. Uh, least expensive, it's opened. <laughs> well, should have thought of that. Um, but we're actually going between the three boxes that I will have to guess from. Is this open? Ooh, what Ooh. the heck is this? Square Enix. Are we allowed to open this, Al Pal? No. no, don't open it. Do not open. Final Fantasy. I guess I don't know. Pixel Remaster, 35th Anniversary Edition, Collector's Edition, Nintendo Switch. So I'm gonna say we don't open it because that comes that's straight from the well, manufacturer. This is, this is um, right? Yeah, but it's it's not like it's a case like official case box. I mean, we got the packing slip here. Look at the back. The box says it. <laughs> it's a branded oh, box. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Valid. Okay, maybe we do leave it closed. I we'll have, let the buyer decide if they want to open it up. Yeah. Unless true. if you want it. I don't know. I don't. I, I want to kind of look, see what it looks like. You know. Yeah. Oh, the then inside. let's open it up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then we have a Genesis Model Two. Okay, this is gonna be the I think the hardest guess. But the first box was pretty hard. I just I got lucky. A 360. OG. Oh, In the box, you've got some cords. Oh, a Sega CD, and a PS1. Two games. Dang, it's gonna be between. The Sega CD loose might still be worth more than a box Sega Genesis, and it's going up against this guy. I'm just gonna go with this as my guess for number one from these three boxes, and it could be worth like a hundred bucks, and in which case that wouldn't be enough, but. That would be correct, and actually <laughs> this is number five. Blood Will Tell is number four. Uh, that's $478. Oh I know, I'm really curious what is inside uh -huh. of this thing. Is it a statue? It before. It's kind of heavy. It's probably like mm -hmm. throw up a picture right here of what, it, of what like it looks like. Sixty-seven pounds or something like that. But Chase, you're just really strong. You make it look good. Thank you. All right, two more. Let's go rapid fire on these guys. Okay. Bada bang, bada boom. The games are coming soon, and we have a nice one in Spider-Man: Edge of Time. Oh, that's sealed. Um, okay. I think almost this entire box is. <laughs> sealed. I'm liking the amount of sealed stuff. I, I will. I'll be honest about that. I'm, I'm excited to uh, tell you the percentage of this collection that's sealed. Yeah? L -L. When, when is that revealed? Well, thank you for telling them that there was a majority sealed. I didn't say majority by any means. Well, but you hinted that I there said was percentage. A lot. Oh, I hinted at there I'm being I'm still a looking lot. at games, and a lot of them are sealed indeed. <laughs> uh, PS3, PS4, these aren't sealed. Four of them weren't sealed. Yeah. I'm just saying. It means 1%. I bet this one doesn't even have the game in there. Oh, it does. All of it is out here. And it looks like you've separated yes. some <laughs> very specific stuff. Yeah, Spider-Man, baby. And I did separate these ones for a reason, because I do think that these have a considerable value, especially sealed, which all of them are. I'm going to guess Shattered Dimensions is number one. I, this is probably the least confident I've felt. There's all sorts of sealed games here. Like, I think Back to the Future has good value. Some of the random Transformers do. I could totally, absolutely, 100% be wrong on this one. Metal Gear Solid is like a steel book. We've got like some controllers over here and an Xbox 360, which is also part of it. And I don't. That one won't count. Let's for just this eliminate this. There's this so is, much this software. Is lame. <laughs> this is lame compared to like picking between games. So that is my final answer Shattered Dimensions Sealed. All right, Chase. What do we got? This one is, in fact, the most expensive of no the box. Way. It's also the most expensive PS3 game we have. But your instinct was spot on. This is the next most expensive. So that one in your hands is like 180 bucks. Dang. This one, 150. Wow. And this one, 120. So basically the top three right there? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> See, it wasn't just because they were Spider-Man that I was and, setting them And it's crazy. Side. Even though that is almost 200 bucks, that's not in the top 25. 
Okay, well, I still want to put it up next oh, yeah. to my other oh, correct yeah. guesses. I hope that they're going to have something to vote on for a giveaway because I want to give away some stuff. <laughs> should, should I should I mention what is, is going to be given away for sure? Sure. So this will be February 11th, uh, the big game day, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. Before the game starts, we're doing a whatnot auction. Our info for whatnot will be down below, but we're giving away five consoles, including two Switch OLEDs, two Xboxes, a PS5 controller, and then there's another Nintendo Switch with Zelda Joy-Cons, Zelda carrying case right there. Giving all of that away for sure, plus another item that you guys will vote on by the end of the video. But you got to come over. Use our link for $15 credit to whatnot if you're not hanging with us over there, guys. It's super fun. We do tons of giveaways. We sell tons of amazing stuff. Basically, this whole collection will probably be available there as well. Including everything else you guys have seen in this video. Yeah, like it's going to be absolutely ridiculous. And we're doing it all the time. So come follow us on whatnot. Use our link for credit if you haven't uh, gotten whatnot yet. It's time. But let's get back to the collection. All right, let's throw it back. We need some more retro. I like retro. Ooh, okay. NES retro. The packing job right. on this, by the way, has been really good. I've been seeing them like pull stuff out of bubble wrap and get stuff ready. Um, there's a cartridges all the way to the Can bottom. Can you like of the box. undo this like a Jenga tower? No. You don't. Can, can you try? No. <laughs> all right. Well, here. <laughs> all right. Well, here. Okay. Do it like this. Gotta get this little little flap ready. <laughs> oh, they're sideways. Oh, they're sideways. That's oh I, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can do it. Wow. Boom. Congratulations. Wow. Yeah. See no how much casualties. time this saves. Um, and it was all for sports games. They're they're all sports. They're games. all sports games. They're all sports games. Baseball, hey, Tecmo yeah. Baseball, World Class Track Meet, and I guess Monopoly's in there. Okay, that was RBA Baseball. More sports. Adventures of Lolo, Jordan vs. Bird, MTV, 10-Yard Fight, TMNT, classic, TMNT 2, TMNT 2 again. It's Current front runner, uh, Mario Bros. Arcade Classic Series is my uh, guess, and that is a five screw. You can tell quickly by the lack of tabs. And, and then the, the five screws. Five screws. It's no, crazy. That's a, that that's a dead giveaway. That. Dead giveaway. All right. Elevator action. WrestleMania. Ghosts. And goblins. Oh, look at the back of that. Oh, that was five screw. I just like didn't even like comprehend what I just looked at right there. I like that. Uh, Turbo Racing. Mario Duck Hunt. The classic. Super C. Prince of Persia. You don't see that cartridge every day. I like that they all have these cases. We got boxed. Circle Seal Zelda right there. Mm -hmm. That is clean, dude. Oh my goodness. All of this stuff is going to make collectors really happy. I mean, yes. Whatever you decide uh, not to keep. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I probably be keeping some stuff. I will say that. Um, gosh, should I go to the box or keep going with the box? The, the box is just Rob. okay. That's Rob. Load Runner, Mario Duck Hunt, Popeye. We got another Mario Duck Hunt, and there we go. Okay, so now we're gonna get to the boxed NES games. Top Gun. First impression. Uh, two for two on very clean. This one has a little bit of wear, but it's tag team. Wrestling, still not bad though, and I love that they're in collector's cases. <sighs> Contra. That's a beautiful copy. Very nice, very nice. I'm gonna put that over with Zelda. Duck Hunt, and it is a hang tab box. I don't see any sticker seals or anything, but that's very cool to have a hang tab of Duck Hunt. Then we have Skater Die, Double Dribble, ooh. Donkey Kong Jr. Arcade Classics series. Now the last time we got some black box NES games in, they were in terrible condition. Like beat up, boxes torn, hang tabs missing, which is normally honestly how you find them because they're the OG like release NES games. Tough to keep these boxes and the hang tabs in great condition, obviously. But that is Donkey Kong Jr. You can tell five it's screw. a five screw, which you know usually means an earlier release game, which is desirable for a lot of collectors. Man, this is uh this is gonna be tough because I do not know between those four. What number one is? I have my guesses, but we'll see. Platoon, and then Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Really, really clean right there. That's, I'd say that's a top fiver from this box. Oh my goodness, there we go. Mega Man, and that's the first one. With the most beautiful box art you've ever seen. I agree. I love the little retro wave back. I'm actually thing. being completely sarcastic. 
What? You don't like that? I love that. No, so I like the part you're talking about. The background. Oh. Look closely at this. Oh. That's well, Mega Man. He's looked better. My four-year-old daughter could do better than this. <laughs> <laughs> just, I couldn't, but she could. I, I'm just saying, that is just wacky and terrible, and it's kind of famous Let for us being, know in the, in the, being bad, Let us know in the comments. Do you <laughs> like this art? I think it is laughably bad, but uh, maybe I'm just completely off there. It looks like it's really clean. Um, no manual. So is this the most rare Mega Man game for NES? It's between Mega Man 1 and Mega Man 5. There's six that okay. exist. And this is this is probably this is probably the one. That might be the front runner right now. Kung Fu, Black Box, Tecmo Super Bowl, featuring Bo Jackson. I just can't help but smile because I know it's coming. WrestleMania and another Mega Man? Wait a minute, what is that closer? Special offer from Capcom, Captain Commando. What? I gotta sit down for this. Al pal, we might need you for this one. I've I've got it unboxed here. So this is the one we just unboxed. That's the one previously. The this one has the sticker, special offer from Capcom, Captain Commando. I'm trying to see if there's any other differences. The manual, I don't know if the manual is normally like that, and when we do have the inserts for it, I, I don't know if there's something special about this other than the sticker. You got me. Uh, so this is a first print box. First print box, no yes. kidding. Makes it a lot more valuable. It's quite hard to find, I believe. And Is this the game where there's a five screw version that's like $18,000 yeah, or something yeah, outrageous? That's the, that, yeah. that's the box that it would come in. So unfortunately so, we don't have When that I opened that, I was like, there's no way <laughs> yeah, that that's a five screw. That would be yeah. absolutely insane. Um, Still insane. I, I mean, that's the front runner uh, from this. I was gonna say regular Mega Man, but uh, that one doesn't have the manual, uh, the, the other one, so it makes it a no, no brainer either way. So that would have been my guess no matter what, and I'm gonna lock it in. What do we got? Do you wanna take a guess on the value? Because you're darn right, it, it's the most <laughs> it is the most expensive so, of the box. To clarify, it's probably first print box, and then uh, it has some first print inserts, I guess, maybe. Like with the Captain Commando and this. I would say 800 bucks. I would guess this one is like four to 500. You're pretty much right on. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yep. 800 something. Yeah. I promise I haven't seen any of this. Is, is 800 something? What's the exact? Uh, 825. 825. So if anybody out there has a five screw uh, cartridge and not the box, you got something <laughs> you special. Can... <laughs> I, I do know one person that has a five screw cartridge. Oh. I think we did see one at uh, Southeast Game Exchange last year as well, and it was, it, it had uh, quite the price tag on it. Yeah. Was it graded <laughs> too? It, it might have been graded. Yeah, it was like a good condition cartridge or something. I did get this correct, but these are also in the top 25. 330 bucks for a ga game in box and then 357. And uh, I got a feeling they might be a little more with the great condition that they're in. Price turning pulls the average, and these are a little bit above average, but I'm gonna add them. Gosh, this mountain of boxes just in the way. There's so much stuff here, man. And now these two boxes. And here they are. This was a box full of PS2. We got a SNES Classic and an NES Classic right there as well. Um, these three stacks are all sealed. There's some ridiculous stuff in here. Uh, let's see, I'll point out just, there's so many notable titles, but as you go down, like The Shining Force is there. There's all sorts, like Neo Contra, Ooh, Metal Saga, Gauntlet, uh, The Punisher's there, Evil Dead, Regeneration, Cold Sept. That's a good one. Par Parappa the Rapper 2. Um, and then I put some notable ones here. We have Sweet, Sweet Code in 3, 4, and 5. Wild Arms 5 is there. Uh, Smackdown, here comes the pain. Big bolo there. That one has good value. Uh, Wild Arms 3 is there. Some insane stuff. And this is, this is probably, in my opinion, my biggest challenge yet for picking. I haven't missed one yet for the, the top value in the box. I'm going to set some of my, my top guesses out front here. I mean, I know five is more than four, so I'll just put five out. And then I would even say Cold Sept, maybe. Oh, nailed that. I feel like, like, Here Comes the Pain could actually be pretty significant as far as value goes. I don't know if there are any used games that would uh, make it. And I might add, like, I'm opening some random ones of these. No. 
Oh, holy crap, it's my game. <laughs> it's unfortunate that's not sealed. Yeah. Hey, great time making that one. I'm glad Meg's on fire. That was my note. I, that's all I wanted on the front cover. Said she can be on the front, but all right, something all right, bad all right. has hey, to hey, happen. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Keep it together. You're on Chase after the right price. All right. It's a family show, Peter. I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> I wasn't going to say. <laughs> all right, back to the games. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm going to say Wild Arms 5. And because that is sealed. Let me make sure of that. Yep, stickers there, stickers there. Sealed, great condition. I'm going to go with Wild Arms 5. You are correct. No Two, way. $232. <laughs> barely passing. Here comes the pain. You should have pulled it. That's number two. Oh, dang. By like five bucks. Ooh. Yeah, it is a close. I didn't think it was that much. Wow. Yeah, right, right there. Um, let's pull it just for, right yeah, this is sealed. Old Brock Lesnar on the cover. Good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to high school together, so. Your traps are bigger, though. Well, they quick. used to be. I don't. It, it'd be close now. <laughs> so Wild Arms did make the top game of the box, but it did not crack the top 25, apparently, of the collection. Uh, meaning uh, one of these boxes is going to have at least two <laughs> top 25ers, if, you do, like if that. you're doing the math with me there. Uh, okay, we got some Sega CD. And boy, these cases are hard to, hard to find in good shape. That is a cool cover, though. I that that like might be one. the worst case out of the bunch. Okay, well, that's good. Road Rash for Saturn. Ooh, Raiden Project, a long box. Is that, that sealed? Well, I think it is sealed. Okay. Put that as a contender. Nice to see a long box PS1 game sealed. Dark Wizard as well. Ooh, the Amazing Spider-Man versus the that Kingpin. One, that one has a few cracks. Yeah, a few cracks there. Ooh. Ooh. This, this brings back a story. A little, little story time here. Shining Force CD. Uh, this game has great value, and this is definitely a contender. Um, especially looking condition is beautiful no scratches on that disc registration card is there but i once went to a garage sale this was before filming the year before i started making videos neighborhood sale pulled up walked into the garage there was a box it was probably this size stuffed full um there's a sega master system probably 40 games and a sega cd with like 20 games and they're just sitting in there on the box that says five dollars and i was like oh cool five five dollar games like this is a home run and I, I was like uh so you know how many games are there how much for the box he's like oh it's five dollars for the box <laughs> and i was oh like five dollars for the box is it the whole box he's like yeah i don't want it just if you you just get rid of it you can get use out of it or make a bunch of money buy it and i was i could not believe it like i had to like Take the next 10 minutes calling people that I knew. <laughs> Catch my breath. I, I find Shining Force CD in there. It, it, at that time, over a $100 game. And this was 10 years ago or something. Uh, so I, that's why I know that game is worth money. But that just yeah, brings the, back memories. Been Every, eight, eight years ago? Started YouTube yeah, 7 it, ago? It, it might have been three years before. It, like, it was, I years was in before? Like, high school. So oh. I guess it was like 12 years ago. Oh, uh, you, mean, you mean 30 years ago. You're 47. Yeah, thank you for the correction there. Um, uh, Xbox games there, 360. Here. Holy crap! Brian and Stoey. They, they now, had their own cover. I, I have to ask, you know, how do you feel about this game? I feel, frankly, mm. a little sidelined because I'm in the background. Uh huh. Yeah, right? And uh, I hate multiverses. Gotcha. I hate them. Yeah? Yep. Why? I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I feel like there's a story there, Peter, but we'll, we'll just continue on. Uh, more 360. And. I'm going to pull all these games out because apparently we're unboxing this one in the same stack. Yes. Uh, and I like small boxes, typically. How about this? Open this up now. Yeah. Ooh. You know, you know that age when you're a kid and, you know, your whole life you want the big box for Christmas and the wrapped present. And then something shifts right in that, like, 10 to 15 age, age range. And the small box is what you want. The iPod Classic, you know, the, the, the small handheld, the Game Boy, anything like that. That's what this reminds me of. We got Ring King, Metal Gear, and sweet mercy, do we have a front runner. I love this system. Zelda Link Between Worlds, 3DS XL. That thing is beautiful. Loving that. Oh my gosh. Shining Force. Uh, completing box. It's got a partial seal on it for GBA. And then we also have the Legend of Legacy. 
Atlas game, Collector's Edition, sealed. Gyromite is a hang tab box again. Got a good old NFL game right there. Great condition though. Akari Warriors, that's a hang tab box, interesting. I didn't see know that. that one had a. Yeah, you don't see that very often. And then TNC Surf Design, which way is actually, that's the right way, okay. That always confuses me. Uh, and Wii Sports Resort, oh, loving that. One of the, one of my favorite games. You can't go wrong with I it. I spent so many hours on that game. You so did. many days. So many days, yes. Likely weeks. I, Wii Sports for me, the, the OG. I did get it on, on launch. Um, okay, so I'll take all this out. We'll see if there's any contenders for top 25, and then we'll lock in my guess. Before we lock in my guess, let me just sink a shot real quick. <laughs> Sonic! <laughs> uh, first try. Before we uh, lock in my guess, let me just sink a shot real quick. <sighs> Dang it. Okay, here we have it. Stacks of 360. This entire stack is sealed. This is used. Were there any like crazy notable games? I didn't get it to look super closely. Nothing crazy stuck out to me. I know some of these are decent, but. There's no like NCAA 14 or any of that. Oh, there is. Oh, that oh gosh, there is. <laughs> that, I missed and it. And that's in the sealed. I don't think that's sealed. Is it? Oh, it's literally the one not sealed game in this. Okay, you know what we should do? This, the, the whatnot is in the big show. Or, or the big game, during the big game, before it. And this is like one of the most hyped football games you could possibly have, so let's give this away during that show. That okay. makes a whole lot of sense. I'm going to add it to the guaranteed giveaways. So Just, we wanted to vote on it. That's happening. Okay, cool. That's For those that don't know, that's, what, 100, 100 bucks? That's probably a $100 game, and it's, <laughs> it's very fun. We actually love it as a group. Yeah. We've played it many times. Uh, but I have a choice to make here, and we kind of have, in my opinion, like... One, two, three, four, five, five-ish like items that I really am focusing on to choose from. I this could be like crazy valuable. I have no idea if it is. I don't know to be honest. Alpal, do you know? Uh, I have a guess, but okay. Uh, Shining Force, same thing. Could be pretty expensive, but I feel like it'll be really hard to beat this. So I'm gonna go with this in minty complete condition, the 3DS XL. And I still have not missed, which is actually surprising. A couple of these I have, like at least three of the guesses were guesses. You are correct. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually curious what that, okay, my yeah. guess is like 375, 450, somewhere in there. Three, 340. 340. 340. What's your guess for number two? Uh, probably this. Man. Let's go. Well done. <laughs> that actually cracks the top 25. Really? Yeah. So this is one of those examples of two items making the top 25. Sweet, so we'll get those stickered and add it up. So quick little mini unboxing. Okay. All There's right. four of these here. PS1, baby, let's Treat go. it all as one. Find the top from all these. Okay. Well, that, that's sealed, okay. Yeah, that's gonna be the theme Gosh, here. Gosh, man, Star Wars Rebel Assault 2, Wild Arms 2. Good night, that is a heavy. Black label, too, with the hang tab. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Art the Lad, that's sealed? I'm pretty sure it's sealed. That, that thing's supposed to open up right here. Yeah, yeah. And then we got a sticker seal here. That is intact. Sweet mercy, man. This is a collection for the ages. Hit the like button for my man, Drew, selling us this outrageous, outrageous collection. Spreading the collection around the world is what will happen. Spider-Man 2, I love that uh, cover art there. Another sealed one, Final Fantasy. <laughs> Careful, there's that a table there. So loud. Okay. Final Fantasy IX. Alundra. Another working designs title in sealed condition. Did he share any of the stories behind this collection? Because there's some ridiculous stuff. Do you, not much, just like longtime collector. Yeah, just he has like he has a huge movie collection as well, so he's just like a massive collector of all things. Yeah, this I mean this is oh. There's Alundra 2, Breath of Fire 4 and 3? Are you kidding me right now? Sealed. Gosh. <laughs> yeah, this is, this one's gonna be tough for you, I think. With black labels, like, on a lot of them. Which, <laughs> the relevance of that is, again, first print, and especially when you're, when you're talking about sealed collectors, first print is a huge deal. You got a Final Fantasy VII, you know, black label first print versus a greatest hits. Just said as an, as an example, it's a huge difference. And if that was Black Label, but still amazing nonetheless, Crash Bandicoot, uh, it'd probably be the difference in a 
few thousand dollars. Um, Final Fantasy Origins. We have Tomorrow Never Dies. Sealed, sealed, sealed. Oh my gosh, Mega Man Legends. Goodness. Glory, man. This, this has been ridiculous. Iron Man, Legend of Mana Black Label. What is that? Gosh. Oh, Legend of Mana? Yeah, You're RPG easy, Glory. You said it. <laughs> yeah. One. I gotta say, that is a horrible name for a game. Get better. There's a song with the same title. The PS1. You want to play one on PS1? Played that game a lot as a kid. Star Wars, Star Wars Demolition, and Star Wars Dark Forces. This is actually one I played the most of. Jedi Power Battles. Xeno Gears. And the Contra Adventure. An absolutely ridiculous four boxes right there. Glory, man. All right, what's the most expensive? Oh, let me analyze. Curious what the people would be thinking at this point, what you guys would be thinking, but let us know in the comments. Play along. I'll tell you, for me, it's got to be one of the Black Label sealed games, which means I'm gonna eliminate I'm gonna eliminate Xeno Gears and Mega Man Legends, though I think those will still have huge value. So I'm gonna bring this over here. I don't think that one's gonna be number one, but that is an interesting one. It's got to be like one of these six. Uh, and from there, I'm gonna go, I really have no idea between those. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Wild Arms 2. It's the most valuable. Uh, I don't feel confident. Then take it back, I mean. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna lock it in. I, I just have no idea. Okay. What do you think number two is? I would say like, maybe the Ark the Lad collection, but it, who knows. So this one stumped you. Both of those are wrong. Okay. I like that. So number one, the Lundra, and number two, Breath of Breath Fire. Breath of Fire 4. Those are both wow. top 25ers as well, is that yep. right? Yep. Number 10 and number 14. Dang. Now the keep Lundra in mind, is... the spread on these is so small. You're talking like dozens of dollars, if not 10, yeah. 20 bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a tough one. The Lundra is 350. Dang. So well, that was the top one, that 350. Top. We'll give that to you for top 25. Breath of Fire 4 was what? Just under 300. And and then what was Wild Arms 2? I don't know. I have to. <laughs> well, you know what that means, I, brother. I, rem I remember the rules of the game, and I think <laughs> we just got a ridiculous potential giveaway here. Wild Arms 2, black label. Wild Arms 2 is 150. There you go. That was my guess. That's potential. gonna be the the first one. Up for a vote, and guys, let me say, that's in good shape. That's dude. a good giveaway. That's, that's a good, good giveaway. <laughs> Not to mention, we already got five consoles and NCAA football 14. Come on, somebody, you got to come and hang with us on February 11th, the big game day. Okay, it's gonna be crazy, and a lot of this other stuff that you're seeing here is gonna be for sale. The vast majority of it, in fact, so it's gonna be crazy. Okay, I was told we're gonna need help unboxing, so shall you join me? Yes, and this might be another one that stumps you. Okay, I like it. I like the challenge. We got a. Ooh. So some sort of custom Game Boy SP. Loving that. The greatest handheld of all time. Oh my goodness, we got some nice ones. Final Fantasy, like, oh, Dragon Quest Monsters. Interesting. Castlevanias. Good value in some of those Castlevanias and Dragon Quest games. Heroes of Mana is kind of interesting as well. Echoes of Time, more Final Fantasy, Contra, Children of Mana, Assassin's Creed, Cooking Mama, Metroid Prime. Mega Man Star Force Dragon. Front runners. Whoa. Those are very uncommon to find minty. Marvel, Dragon Quest, uh, Rocket Slime, a lot of the Dragon Quest games. These are beautiful, man. Spider Man, more Spider Man, Mario 64, Spirit Tracks, Phantom Hourglass, some M Mario's, some 3DS games. All good stuff. All, the bar is like insanely high to pick the top value game from this collection. And it is just like constant good stuff. Let's see what this is. Ooh. Mega Man 5 Battle Network. Definitely good value there, but not sure if it's gonna crack the top. Mega Man Star Force 3 Black Ace. Do you have all these games in your collection? No, oh no, I do not. Not the Star Force ones. So we might have some collection pieces there. I think I have that one, but um, and maybe this one. Don't think I have this one. Oh, did you say you want more Mega Man? Here Gosh, yes. I've wanted to collect all these. Fantastic. Star Force Pegasus and Star Force Leo. Fantastic. These are so hard to find, guys. I'm telling you. 
So here's, Start looking for them now. You probably won't find them. Here's where it becomes difficult. <laughs> oh, are other games in all these? These are games. There's another yeah, think, Mega Man Star Force, by the way. Like all the Mega Man Star Force games. Gosh, dude. Do I have any duplicates here? Only this one. Okay. That's amazing. That is such a rare collection to have right there. All right, so you want to just tell me, like, do we have Pokemon game? Do we have anything super notable? That's interesting. Shining Soul. Uh, okay. I could probably give you a pass Oracle and say Avages. that there's cartridge only. I mean, there's not going to be... You're probably safe with guessing a complete one. Okay. These are good. These are really good. Oh, Mega Man Battle Network, the first one. Big Mega Man collector I'm seeing, which I definitely respect. It was actually one of the first things that got me into collecting because my buddy had some crazy uh, Mega Man games like X3, Mega Man 7 for SNES. And that was the first time I realized that they were quite desirable. Yeah, these are so clean, just across the board, so clean. There's more Mega Man. Dragon Warrior 3. Gosh, dude, this collection. You weren't kidding, this is the, uh, this is the greatest collection I think I've ever unboxed that got shipped was, to us. Yeah. Uh, you provided uh, shipping labels on this one, I think, because it was Correct. such a big deal, and it was easily worth it. I'm sure that was a substantial amount. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-five boxes was a lot. Yeah. Castlevania II: Belmont's Revenge. That's so clean, man. It's just outrageous. Well, cartridge only got to be pretty high on that one, right? For Belmont's? Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. A, a good value game. Wario Blast was there. Conqueror's Pocket Tales. You've got a little Bartman, little Operation C, Let's open that one next. Metroid Fusion. I think I saw Zero Mission earlier too, so <laughs> Castlevania Legends. That is a heavy. Uh, Castlevania's on Game Boy and really any system are always, you see them in the wild, put them to the side, make them, make a purchase, especially if they're reasonable. <laughs> Safe to say that I can make my guess based on uh, the complete stuff? Versus, I think so. Okay, so, I mean, Legends is going to be up there, but I don't think Legends is going to be some of these, uh, at least one of these. But boy, I I would guess it's going to be one of these Mega Mans. It could be like a Dragon Quest or just something that I missed. Uh, but this is, this is going to be a tough guess. Uh, I'm going to guess this one right here. Mega Man Star Force, Zerker, X, Saurian. Because I have no idea uh, which one it could be, and that one there's a duplicate of. So <laughs> I kind of want to keep them for the collection. Um, I'm being honest. <laughs> so you were close. Yeah. It was Star Force. Oh wow. Red Joker. And that's going in the collection, baby. Let's go. It's complete. Absolutely fabulous. Yeah, I'm gonna keep every one that I don't have, but um, one of these will be in the vote for the giveaway, and I'm gonna guess this has considerable value as well. We're, this show is ridiculous, man. We're giving it, away so is, much insane stuff. It's gonna be stuff. insane. Um, just, just in this they're both video, complete, so. We'll have like $100,000 of stuff. Gosh, <laughs> that's insane. So fun fact, this was the most valuable game in the box, about 165 bucks, but Castlevania Legends almost made it 163 for the cartridge only on that Game Boy game. But these are the two current, up for the vote of games to give away. I'm be giving away one from the final stack that we end up coming up with. Those are some strong contenders, I have to say. But we still have uh, one, two, three, four, and maybe those, oh gosh, six, there's six boxes. so many more. All right, next two boxes. I'm already liking what I'm seeing in this one. We'll get everything pulled out and we'll see what the best items are in this one. And we already have a sealed Man. first print. Zelda Breath of the Wild for Wii U and a bunch of GameCube. Well, what's in here? Ooh, Sega, let's go. I've been wondering where the Sega games oh were. Oh my gosh. I'm excited about these two. Guys, these two boxes have been absolutely ridiculous. Those left stacks over there, those are sealed GameCube. <laughs> There's like great titles. So many great used GameCube games, Wii U, some really nice ones. There's like complete in box, crazy looking Sega Genesis games. Then I'm pulling out cartridges and they're like crazy uncommon, ridiculous cartridges like Mega Turrican in here. So I'm gonna have to pull all these out as well, and this is gonna be an impossibly difficult guess. Whip Rush is here, Indiana Jones, like crazy uncommon cartridges. And I'll come at you with my guess, but I got a feeling I'm getting this one wrong. Centurion, Bloodlines. Come on. Crusader of Senti. 
And that wouldn't be seventy nine ninety nine anymore. That's an old sticker, I'll tell you that. That's beat up. That is ripped. But that game is massive. <laughs> I think it's like, if that's complete, that might be the number one Sega Genesis game. As far as value goes, too bad it's not minty and, and complete. But I've been buying collections for a long time. And uh, this is truly one of the greatest collections that I've ever bought. I mean, you, you have to go back to minty to white, I think, to have a collection that really, truly is even better. Uh, if you compile all of what we got from Minty to White, it's still the greatest. That is, the bar is like through the, through the moon. If you haven't seen that series, we can maybe link it in the description or something. It's hard to do justice to all these games. Keep in mind, a lot of these are bolos. Like, we're passing up $50, $60, oh, yeah. $100 cartridges left and right. They're just everywhere. There's so many. They're everywhere in this collection. It's absolutely ridiculous. Like, I, I pull this up and I'm like, okay, yeah, you see Turrican. You see, what, what the heck is this? Double Dragon 3, just wonky looking uh, covers there, sh um, shining in the darkness. You know, dinosaurs. Is that dinosaurs for, for yeah. hire? This, this is the stuff that you want to see. I mean, th there's the standard columns and Sonics and stuff like that, but there's so many of the uncommon ones. You know, even Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters is fairly uncommon. Um, look at that, High Seas Habit. That's just the kind of stuff that you want to see. Whatever that is. <laughs> uh, Golden Axe 2, oh. yeah. Uh, Shinobi, Fire Shark, unbelievable box. So we're looking at Crusader of Sentinel. We've, we've got Contra Hardcore up there. Team and T, I haven't even looked at these. Is this complete? Hyperstone Heist. That is so clean and complete. It's gonna be between Crusader of Sensei. I haven't gotten to fully digest these, but these are all sealed GameCube games. Mario Strikers is gonna be high up there. Paper Mario is certainly high up there. Zelda, I didn't realize that was there. Four Swords Adventure, Metroid Prime. Ooh, Mario Party 5. That's black label too. So those four swords. Yeah. Five. Bait and Kaidos Origins. And Bait and Kaidos both sealed. That's my prime. Gosh, dude. This is a tough, tough decision. I'm thinking you guys want me to get this one wrong, and I understand. You wanted to do two <laughs> boxes. There could be something <laughs> huge on the line. Let's bring down everything you said. Are these all in the picture? Uh just Crusader of Senti. Okay. That's gonna be my only. And then we're talking probably these two but then maybe like mario strikers and paper mario that's player's choice so that affects it a little bit and you got mario Wear. that's that's a cool version of metroid prime with the echoes bonus disc boy i gotta think about this and then i'll come at you with my guess i think so it's i mean i would have been stumped this is a tough pick. I, it I is tough. I don't know I, what I would do. Like, I'm kind of between Crusader of Senti, and then I think between these five, I would guess Mario Party 5 with it being Black Label. Um, I mean, like... And that's is, really rough condition. We, we will factor in condition for this one. Is this one more minty, rare if it was complete? Is that, like, because sometimes there's cartridges. Considerable valuable value to the manual and case. Okay. Like... Probably over a thousand dollars. Okay, so the um, cartridge may be more accurate to that. Okay. Yeah, that, that like sense, I would I guess, guess. I, I, I'm gonna go with Mario Party Five, factoring in condition for that. Is that the most rare Mario Party? It might have been the one that sold the least. My favorite are six and seven, um, and maybe four. It's, maybe five it's is six. my least favorite. Five is your least favorite. Actually, <laughs> um, I like them all, but that's my least favorite. So it could be the most rare. I'm, I'm gonna guess that Mario Party Five. Okay, Al Pal. He's scribbling down a lie. I have a feeling a lot of these are top 25. <laughs> yeah, this was a good batch. You're going to guess Mario Party 5 is number one? Yeah. Incorrect. Yeah. Really? Technically, I mean, with that, you could probably call it like 375. So okay. technically, Kirby Air Ride, player's what? choice. I, really? It's just, a, it's just a really rare seal. I this, should have at least set that up here because Kirby Air Ride is a big one. This but it's player's choice. Over $400. That's player's choice. Right on. That's bizarre. Yeah. Dang, nice. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I like it. Maybe it's more uncommon sealed than I realized. Sometimes you have a game sealed that just, there weren't cases laying around or whatever. There's only like seven souls on it sealed. Okay. So. Yeah, fairly yeah. uncommon. Right on. Kirby Air Ride number one. That was number two. <laughs> Which Mario means? Party 5. Mario Party 5 was actually, so this was number three, four, and then five. So Mario Party okay. 5 was five. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is going to be gosh, on the giveaway block. Sweet mercy. We're now voting between Wild Arms 2. Mega Man Star Force DS and a sealed Mario Party 5. Uh, I got a feeling that's going to be the front runner yeah. in the vote, but it's going to be up to you guys. I also have a feeling that that's 
maybe top 25 a bunch of these still yeah yeah i'm curious how many of these got top 25 uh, mario party 5 actually makes it in the top 25 but we are going to give that away and paper mario makes it at 22 and then we're going to add these kirby air ride crazy one Number seven. That one shocks me still. That, I, yeah, I couldn't believe that one. Cruise the Ascenti. And then Zelda Four Swords. So it's crazy how much we've gone through, and there's still a ton of numbers missing. Yeah, like, well, we like need number, number one, one three, three, and five. Five, eight, ten. Oh my gosh, that entire row. Oh, That's there's insane. a lot to get through. I think we need to finish tomorrow. Yep. So next day, two more boxes. This is taking quite a long time, but I got to say, we still have ten top 25s left to find including number one so that's gonna happen i, I have a feeling the boys hit it <laughs> <laughs> you know I, I i like saving the best for the end so i hope that's how they did it but uh we got a ton of nintendo games and i gotta say this top row is ridiculous like jackie chan's action kung fu very uncommon mega man 5 mentioned that yesterday for being the uh you know top two most notable mega man game and then adventure island 3. i didn't know there was a third one it is uncommon. It's like one and two are definitely more common than three. Well, I guess I'll ask you this, Chase. We yeah. have a lot of complete in-box stuff up there. One cartridge, or two cartridges, I guess. Do you think any cartridges mm -hmm. could make the top five? Ooh. I know there's some out there that have potential. What are your initial thoughts on seeing yeah, all I mean, this? It'd be possible. There's a couple of cartridges that could make it. Like, um, I mean, number one has to be $825, so. Yeah, like for, for SNES... And NES, there's a couple that could make it. And then for N64, there's one. Yeah. Clay Fighter, Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut. But That'd I would be, be cool. I mean, we have to have something to beat 825. So, okay, so we're going to look through these two boxes, pull everything out, uh, and see what the best stuff is as we go. Bartle Toads. That's not what I'm looking at, Sky Guy. Oh, Snow Brothers? <laughs> Is that a good one? <laughs> oh, there's DuckTales 2 right under it. Oh. Th this is a great one too, by the way. Bartletoad's Double Dragon. Oh, oh my gosh. I know that what one. What is happening? <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> Which one is it? Panic Restaurant. Oh, yeah. I didn't. I would... What in the heck? Well, that's a good layer. Is there anything else right there? Uh, oh, I know geez. that one too. Lolo 3 is good too. And Ninja Gaiden 3. Oh, that was geez. outrageous. Hold on. This, this like bottom layer. Should... Oh my gosh. Fire and I, RC Pro AM2, another uncommon what? one. Got that at a pawn shop once for a it's buck. It's like, it's a perfect, oh, is there anything under that? Bubble Bobble 2? Oh, gosh, dude. <laughs> what is this collection? Holy crap. It's just got all of the uncommon That's NES huge. games. Take note of all of those. That was ridiculous. What about uh, this that This is one? pretty uncommon too. Um, I've seen the cover before. What, how do you, Artista Ring, Artista's Ring. Hmm. Um, so uncommon that I don't even know the name of it. <laughs> but um, uh, get all of those spread out. Real yeah, quick. this is those... like outrageous. So w <laughs> when looking for NES games, you know, out in the wild at a garage sale, whatever, these are literally like the ones that you hope for. Panic Restaurant, Snow Brothers. This one's new to me. So Capcom. That's probably a top ten. Wow. NES. So Panic Restaurant is absolutely making the top twenty-five. Ducktales two. I mean, Bar Bar Bartle Toads, Double Dragon, Lolo 3, Ninja Gaiden 3, RC Pro AM 2, just really uncommon. Fire and Ice, Bubble that Bobble one, 2. That one's huge. Yeah, Bubble Bobble 2 is massive. I honestly don't know. Could that be more expensive than that? Uh, if you guys rec see a trend, Taito. Taito, yeah, Taido. on both of those. I'd say those, it's between these three, I would okay. say. Wow. And I think Panic Restaurant's going to be number one because that's that's usually like, <clears throat> I'm going to guess it slides into the number three slot. The number three slot? Uh, it's usually like an 800 ish dollar cartridge, and in that condition, probably more. Let's just do a quick glance here because <laughs> yeah, this, this is this box getting. Is okay, so normal good stuff, not the outrageous good stuff. Maybe that's what we have the rest of the way, so we'll get it unpacked. But if we find any more like that, we'll, we'll cut back in. Man, how many games is this? <laughs> That was an outrageous amount of games. All Nintendo. There's probably like... 100? Oh, maybe 100. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. These are the most notable over here, kind of laid out. So we have all the Dragon Warriors. Four is usually... Uh, four is the most valuable. Uh, Donkey Kong Jr. Looks like a five screw. Uh, Mighty Final Flight. Just found that one. 
the GI Joes, we got both of them. Uh, Contra Force, terrible game, didn't sell well, therefore it's worth money. That's one of those examples. <laughs> Adventure Island 3, Mega Man 5, Jackie Chan, and then you guys saw everything here. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely lock in Panic Restaurant as number one from this, from this box. But um, I think that this one, this one, and probably more are gonna make the top 25. I'm gonna say like five are gonna make top 25 from this box. It's very Maybe possible. Ducktales too, as and, well. And for every game that's like over here, we pass like five more just absolute classics from. I mean, oh, it's a great. Kid Icarus just sitting on top. We have all the Mega Mans just in there. Metroids, Kirby. Metroids, you know, all the, the Mario's, man. just this Ninja classic Gaiden. Classic stuff, man. It's, that's cool. All right, Al Pal, we're gonna lock this in. I mean, that was just, you know. Made it easy on me. Obvious. Right. Number, number three? three. Yeah. Number three. Well done. Seven fifty-five. That'd and, be a really good deal for that cartridge. Yeah, condition yeah. is such a big factor. Anytime you're dealing with any of this stuff high end, it could be oh, yeah. in it, some cases 50% more. I mean, of if it price was torn starting. up, it'd be less. But if yes. minty like that, it's probably gonna be more. Do you have a second guess for number two? Yeah, so number two. I'm kind of between Bubble Bobble and Snow Brothers. I've never had a Snow Brothers. That's like the one that has eluded me. I'll go double level two. And then? Snow Brothers, <laughs> then DuckTales 2. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, wow. There's a big difference These there. are the only... Those nothing the else only. cracks the top Okay. 25. Wow. All right. That's shocking. But, so three made the top 25. But again, we're talking high end of the high end. Like, what? Well, this cartridge is over 100 bucks right here. This one, probably the same. That, that, one, one, that one, that one, the same. That one, that one, that one, this one, this one, that one, that <laughs> yeah. one. So it's insane. And, the, and they're all like... I mean, in great condition. Like, I, look at this Mega Man Six. This was random, truly, but that thing is that just is that is shape. that is stunning. What the heck? Front, I don't the, know. Maybe I just chose the best one in the whole batch, <laughs> but that was ridiculous. The Let's great check thing this with one. him, like even like even like a lower end game that had like a nick in the label, like he mentioned. That's awesome. So anything that has wear, it was duly noted. Shout out, Drew. That's uh, that's amazing. I mean, that's a little bit more normal good condition. There's minor label wear on it but still very clean like mm -hmm. and he has bubble wrap I at know, the back inside the cases it's just unbelievable uh, the fact that all of it is in cases yeah all, like i mean that alone is insane this is this has been top notch and we still have what four more boxes left something like that i don't even yeah. know anymore <laughs> <laughs> including the number one item and apparently like still seven more top 25s so let's get to it chase there are only two boxes left yes 25 boxes, two days. Yeah, and I'm, I'm still wearing apothecary socks, too. Are you, you really? Got, yeah. <laughs> How about you got any on? I'm wearing mine, too. Of course. Let's go. See, we weren't kidding, guys. <laughs> Reminder, guys, check that out down below, and uh, use our link, make some purchases, and maybe we'll be able to get some Hawaiian socks. I didn't ask him that yet, but yeah, he's going to see it in, gonna this, find in out. this video. <laughs> so uh, make it happen. They're awesome. Okay, looks like we got Whoa. some PS1 games. Tom Cruise in Apocalypse. I don't know if you guys remember, but last time we had these little mini PS1 boxes, they were ridiculous. Oh, all the sealed ones. <laughs> well, these are all sealed too. Oh Contra my gosh. Oh my gosh, Dragon Ooh. Warrior. So okay. anytime you're looking for PS1, black label is what you want to see. Yes, indeed. And uh, sealed is But what still, you dream Final of. Fantasy VIII, Greatest Hits is pretty legit. And then we have Contra Legacy of War. See, this one's interesting because you got a thick case version which is oh. sealed well, this has these. 3d glasses inside well would you look at that would you just look at it would you look at, <laughs> would you look at it in 3d no. <laughs> put on the glasses i'll tell you <laughs> beyond the beyond that's a good one that's a funny name it's, oh and there you go i mentioned this earlier final fantasy 7 oh black label sealed would be thousands this is still going to be hundreds but it does have a crack in the back bummer on that i'm sure you noted it and then chrono cross sealed as well Dragon Warrior 7 is probably my current guess for the front runner, but it could also be the Contra. Like how much of a front runner? Like estimated value? Like maybe 300. I, I'm throwing darts. I have no idea. Hi, Matt. And back to the games. All right. <laughs> <laughs> is this sealed? This is sealed, I think. Okay, that's cool. Myron Sonic um, with the blue Wiimote Plus. That's cool. I didn't know that Wii was a bundle. U. Would you look at that? That is, that is oh, actually, that's even more I didn't weird. even realize that was Wii U. As yeah. I was, yeah. Okay. And then we have, the, these are Wii. so clean, man. Yes, Wii, glossy feeling. Beautiful stuff. Oh, that's a good, 
Zeldas. Looks like a good stack right here. That, that's just good classic Wii. That's a good one. Zelda, Twilight Princess HD, and it does actually look like it is sticker sealed. Nice. Um, that's that's going to put that up there. That's a pretty desirable one. But anyways. Some discs only. Ooh. Oh, Lunar. Good ones. Yeah, Sonic CD's good too. Robo something. Lords of Thunder. Lords of Thunder! Final, Final Fight. Fight. This, this is good stuff. Android Assault, Afterburner. Dang. Shining the Holy Ark. Goodness. Oh, man. Whoa, Shining Wisdom. That's... Wow, that's a big one. Shining Force 3. Dang, man. Andretti Racing! Nope. <laughs> <laughs> those are all pretty expensive. We may have just shuffled through those, but... That was a ridiculous... 100 plusers in there. Yes, that was ridiculous. Uh, brand new Wii U Pro Controller. All right. Uh, as Matt would say, greatest controller ever made. Yep. Hey. <laughs> False. He does not like that controller. No. I mean, there have been worse controllers. Like, for example, the NES controller. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's it hurts. <laughs> For a time, it was better than Atari joystick. The dog bone controller, yeah, instant yeah, improvement. It's better. It's yeah. rounded. Yeah. The big pizza Sega Saturn controller, just a big circle. Oh, the Saturn 3D <laughs> controller. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one's not very good either. Or the Atari Jaguar controller. Mm. That one's pretty. That's I think that's my the worst. Atari 5200 controller. That's my vote for worst controller ever. <laughs> Let us know down below. Joy the joint. They're the not. Joy no, they're not as bad as the 5200. You want me to show you a 5200 a controller? A, oh, playing Super Mario Party with a singular Joy-Con is a crime against the Switch, and it's a terrible, horrible, awful thing. Yep. Get Mario Party Superstars, not Super Mario Party. Yeah. <laughs> Super Mario Galaxy. One or two great games, by the way. Stick and love those. Uh, and then you've got. Fortune Street, that's a good one. These are all so clean. Man. I love that one, Mario Party 7. Smash Brawl. Donkey Kong, Kirby's Epic Yarn. What do we got here, some, some uh, Saturn and Saturn. CD. What? <gasps> <laughs> oh. <laughs> we mentioned that earlier as the uh, rival to... Um, What's behind you right now? Whatever, Crusader of Sensi, you couldn't think of it. Oh my gosh. Musha. Holy. And that is very clean. So it's one of the more well-known expensive Genesis games to my understanding. Probably the most well-known. Like the little Samson of Genesis? It's kind of, yeah. I would okay. say that's the comp. And then Senti is maybe more like the Flintstones. <laughs> okay. Yes. Wow. That is, uh, that is the front runner currently. I still haven't seen the Saturn. Sh that's a good one. Shinobi Legions. Ooh. Jesus, Fox. <laughs> Albert Odyssey, Albert Odyssey. anything. Uh, it looks super clean. RPGs for Saturn just all day. All day. Mm -hmm. Especially working designs. Yes. Yeah, and it looks like it's got everything. The registration card, I can tell, is still there. That's so cool. That is uh, absolutely ridiculous. Some more Sega. Sega CD. Nice. I love that. Adventures of Batman and Robin. NHL! NHL 94. A lot of people like that. You play Chell, bro? Game specifically. Star Wars Rebel Assault. Wii wheels, Wii controllers, and... Two! I changed my mind. This is going to be number one. I... <laughs> Why would you do that to people? <laughs> and gold coins! Wait a minute, what are those? Super Mario Galaxy coins. Well, what? what? I don't know, what are, what are these from? Do we know what these are from? Super Mario Galaxy. You ever seen that? No. Me neither. Did you get one with... Show the people. There's the front. There's the back. We have like 20 of them. Man. That's cool. It's Brother, Brother Dave. Brother Dave, do you know anything about Super Mario Galaxy coins? Have you ever seen one of those? No. You want one? Uh, yeah. Maybe instead of paying us, <laughs> you can just Wait, give us a coin. for the year? Like a, a coin every quarter, maybe? Yeah. That sounds I fair mean, to me. I the government can't tax us. That's a good point. <laughs> okay, I am locking in. Tax crime is not a joke, man. <laughs> I'm locking in Musha oh. as my number one from this box, but I think that this could crack the top 25. Maybe these two and that. Man, yeah, that's a that's a pretty good guess. And, and maybe and maybe the Saturn one too. I don't know where I put it, but that one. Albert, Albert Odyssey. Odyssey. Let's see what happens. What was your guess, Chase? Musha. What's your number two? Mm, Dragon Warrior 7. So you got Musha, right? Yes. Oh. But you did not get Dragon Warrior. It's actually... Really? 
Albert Odyssey. So oh, I'm just oh. behind. And That's... working designs, they just have the best, coolest I uh, know. designs. <laughs> Well said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I got number one correct. It's actually 19 and 20, so That's we, shocking. we have, is it one more box? Yep. Got so it. I was wrong. We only, we only had two boxes left. We're down to the last one, which is going to have number one, number five, number 10, bunch, a bunch Numbers. of top 25ers. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be crazy. The final box. Chase, we actually realized that you skipped over one. Well, we all did. So <laughs> we put it over on the shelf already. This, this is number 13. Really? This is $300. So I think what this is, this wow. is actually the game, and this is the whole collector's edition. So that's a very desirable piece. All right, that's Final, Final Fantasy 1 through 6 yeah, for Switch. Yeah, the Pixel Remaster. And then we, we totally forgot, that's th those two are also included. Yep. That's 21, okay. and that one's number 5? So yeah, that, that's, that's 13. number 13. So we have number <laughs> 1 and 17 Correct. left in this final box. Number one certainly most important, but I want to see if I can guess both one and seventeen okay. as we unbox. And guys, if you've made it this far, you are the five percent. Please hit the like button or comment five percent down below. Five percent gang. Let's go. All right, Imperium. That is like never really heard of that. That doesn't happen very often anymore. War of the Gems. Prince of Persia two is in there. Spider Man. Super Adventure Island two. Some nice stuff. Home Alone. Some classics. F Zero, Aladdin. What? Do you see something? I do see something. What? Aerobiz? <clears throat> Aerobiz? Um, I think this is a massive cartridge. I haven't heard of that one. I'm going to well, set that to the side. Okay. I could be getting it confused, but. I think that's one of the top SNES cartridges. Like a plane game? Um, but we did, we've got King, King of Dragons there, Indiana Jones. I mean, King, of, King of Dragons is definitely a nice one. Uh, Soul Blazer. Raiden? Raiden, yeah, that's a good one. Actraiser 2, it's a beautiful, beautiful collection. Actraiser 1. And then you've got classics, like almost all across the board. Yeah, I know. Yoshi's Island, Mario World, Captain America, Star Fox. <laughs> <laughs> that got me. Name that show. Anybody? I know you guys know, but yeah. put it in the comments yeah, down yeah, below. Yeah, I won't say it. <laughs> Mickey Mania, D Force, Ken Griffey's, Slam Masters. The Secret of Mana. Yes. More Ken Griffey. This is, comes from the time when Nintendo owned the Mariners. What is that? Dino, Dino City? Ooh, di Dinocity. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is this? Man, Illusion right of Gaia. King Arthur. King Arthur. Interesting. King Arthur in the Knights of Justice. That sounds like a good time. Super Adventure <laughs> Island, Super Star Wars, Virtual Bart, Illusion of Gaia, Bartman, Incredible Hulk, Bartle, what is this? Arrow Fighters? I feel like one of these is huge. Arrow Biz or Arrow Fighters? Now I'm confused because I. <laughs> it's uh -huh. one of the arrows on SNES, all right? It's one of the arrows is, is quite something. Arrow the Acrobat? Mm, or is that uh, one? Zero the Kamikaze Squirrel. Oh, maybe. there's that one too. That's like the predecessor, I think. Uh, we're going to keep going. I'm going <laughs> to. What is happening right now? <laughs> it's another arrow game. Arrow Biz Supersonic. <laughs> I never had this happen. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, I collect video games. I've al I also sell them, and in selling them, I see so many titles, but you don't see the, the top rare, like, mushas and... Everything behind you. Yeah, like, like all the stuff on the shelf. Very often, you just don't see it. Snow Brothers, I said it's the first time I've actually had one. Um, but Mega Man X3, like, I've seen a few of these, and that's like a... I don't know, $250 game or something. That was actually in episode one of our Chase Out of the Right Price. Found that at a garage sale. And didn't realize it was in the box. Went back and paid more. Because uh, <laughs> that's a big one. Battletoads Double Dragon, American Gladiators, Spider-Man, Separation Anxiety. Like, good titles all across the board. Breath of Fire 2 is there. That's a nice one. Civilization, Krusty's Fun House, Contra 3, Pilot Wings. Man. Wario. Wolverine. Warlock. Is that Arkanoid? Yes, Arkanoid. A good oh, time. Freddie Mercury in Final Fight. That's the one. Yes. 
I didn't realize you do that. Mm -hmm. Right on. He's really buffing that. WrestleMania, one. Batman, uh, Wolverine, Prince of Persia, Mario, Mystic Quest, The Ticks. Not seeing any top candidates there. Firepower. I'm just curious if something's going to jump out at me. Bartle Toads. What is that? Another Simpsons game. The genuine Simpsons product. Itchy. Itchy and the scratchy. Itchy scratchy game. Okay. It's like they're Tom and Jerry. Okay. Except they're very violent. Kirby's Dream Course. Kirby's Al Avalanche. Street Fighter. All right. And then the last row. Okay. Interesting. <sighs> so you've got quite the decisions to make. I do. Um, I think I'm going to lock in number 17 right there. So that's not the top from this box, but Mega Man X3. <gasps> oh, you were right. Well done. Let's go. Correct. Man. Well, I said 250, 268. Not, not bad. Okay. I think one of these is the top one. We've got Aerobiz, Aerobiz, Super Sonic, and then Aero Fighters. That's what that, yeah, Aero Fighters. Initially, I was going to go with Aerobiz. And then Aerobiz Supersonic happened, and I started having doubts. So that makes me think it's Aero Fighters as the number one cartridge only. A plane game? <laughs> yeah. Or, I, excuse me, a, a fighter jet plane? I feel like maybe rental exclusive or something. There's a story around, if that's right, there's a story around it. I'm, going, I'm locking it in. Aero Fighters. Yes. Oh my Let's goodness. Go. That, would, that would have been a risky loss. <laughs> wow. Ooh, you're right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Goodness. 1,387. Holy cow. What? It's clean. Yes. What the wow. heck? Man. There's one other SNES game of kind of similar magnitude Hagane. And uh, I think Arrow Fighters. Is this the number one SNES game? That's the SNES number game? one cartridge only, I believe. Gosh. That is insane. Like of actual released games, you know, you got some competition cartridges and right, stuff. Yeah, but actually, yeah. Wow, Aero Fighters. I probably would have guessed that if I didn't see the other I one. I did not so. realize there was a couple more Aero games. I thought we were gonna. That's, that's, <laughs> that's pretty you know. funny. Number one is a cartridge only game. This collection has been ridiculous. We got to lay out the games that you guys get to vote on for the giveaway, just to remind you. Uh, so let me get those laid out here. I didn't get that many wrong. No, I, that, you did really well. That went uh, better than it has in the past of guessing, but this one I, I got yep. wrong, right? Yes. 35, Wild Arms 2, and Mega Man Star Force. That's the three. I think that was it. Yep. So go ahead and vote in the comments on what you want to see given away Sealed Mario Party 5, Sealed Wild Arms 2, or Mega Man Star Force 2. Guys, this was a ridiculous collection, and we're giving away all of this stuff on that February 11th during the big game, or before the big game auction, NCAA Football 14 we added. We got this two Switch OLEDs, two Xboxes. There's actually another one. Oh yeah, it's hiding over there. Look at that, five consoles total, PS5 controller, and you guys are voting, so remember to vote Mario Party 5, Wild Arms 2, or Mega Man down below, because that will one of those will also be given away. And if you've been to an auction, you know we add giveaways throughout. We have a great time. So please come and hang with us on WhatNot if you haven't done it yet. This isn't sponsored by them, but we just love hanging there and have a great time. So hopefully we will see you there. And thank you guys so much for hanging all the way till the end of this epic video. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, pal. Good job.